guys welcome back to my channel it's marilyn here i have a chubby chic romantic layout today you will see the tutorial is super easy and i hope that you give it a try nothing complicated guy i promise let me show you fast the layout it is but you will see that the composition look a little busy but it's simple i hope that you enjoy the next tutorial any question and any comment let me down below don't forget to subscribe and if you like this video please bring me a thumbs up okay let's get started with the tutorial Mwah. I'm using the September limited edition kit by my credit scrap book that is featuring 49 and market. This is the gorgeous paper and the lovely photo and I'm going to uh, prime the paper with clear gesso. I just apply like a quarter size as you see and with the spatula I am uh, spread all the uh, clear gesso on the paper. I'm going to let it dry and now I'm going to frame my photo. I cut this frame from one of the, I think it's from the book of the laser cuts and look how lovely it looks now. Now I'm going to use the distressed texture paste with the heavy gesso because I want to give uh, textures on the background. I put the photo less or more in the area that I want to uh, place it later and with the spatula I apply first the texture paste by Ranger and apply in the area and then now I am adding heavy gesso over the texture paste and I'm doing this because I want to highlight all the texture I'm not going I, I, I at this moment I don't have plan to add uh, paint on the background so I just need to highlight all these textures and I'm going to dry this now and you can see here how it looks it's dry and now once I have all the texture I add a piece of cardboard behind the photo because I want to create dimensions and pop out the photo here is the color bloom that comes in the kit and I'm going to use it now but I'm going I am cutting now a piece of cheesecloth and I'm using a uh, butter with a spray water in the cheesecloth just to wet the fabric and now I add the color bloom in that way it's easier to dye the fabric and um, once I uh, add enough of the color bloom to dye the fabric I'm going to dry now with the heat tool once it's dry I am frying now all the edges of the fabric because I want to create a lot of texture and I place it on the background in this way. I'm just playing with the edges, fraying a little and then I am hitting now the photo to the uh, background. I center the photo in the area that I want and I'm still playing with the fabric. Here is the bind, the flower bind and I uh, cut it by half because I want to place one half on the bottom and the other half in the side. But the three, the tip to work with the bind is that you have to manipulate the leaf and you know, like give it form to every piece here of the wine. I will play a little with it with all these uh, things. And I take a few pieces of the laser cut here I mix it with the vine. Now I take the flower and cut through the petals here because I want to give a little of dimensions and I add a 3D foam tape on the back and in that way it looks more uh, natural. And I will do the same and I continue cutting through the petals on, in all the flowers uh, from the laser cuts. And I also uh, give a uh, I'm inking all the edges with this dress vintage photo and I'm playing now with all the flowers here to give to make my composition I'm going to use and add some of the flowers uh, from 49 and market that comes in the kit here and I try to combine all the different uh, elements here and to create my composition
you can see here I add here everything now and look how lovely is this detail here between the, all the leaves the flowers this is part of the vine look the keys with the hearts look the flowers the laser cut flowers everything looks so pretty look this tiny heart here is so lovely and once I have all these adhered now I'm going to add the pearls and some arston with gel medium Okay, you can see here with all the texture is wet yet. Now I cover the photo and I'm going to add white paint splatters. It gives a nice textures on the background and I just love the shabby shield look that it brings to my page. I will add enough of these uh, splatters around all these elements here on my page. Now I'm going to add the bees. Actually, these are, are cute, adorable. And I am planning uh, at here three of them on my page. You can see here how it looks, the final resort. Look the bees here and in the other corner. I just love the final result and as you see, it's simple. It's nothing complicated. I hope that you like this video. And if you like it, please bring me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this. And you can see here how it looks outside uh, within this photo. Check the description box down below. And here are two more videos that maybe you are interested. I come back soon with a new video tutorial. Nos vemos. Bye bye.